Hey, what's happening? It's your boy, Papa Duck. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit the bell so y'all get notified when I drop a video. Now, listen. I don't know if y'all ever saw this uh this TV show, right? It's called Ruthless. Now, they got Tyler Perry name attached to it, but when you watch it, I really don't think that he has as much to do with it as you may think. As That's as what I feel, in, you know, anyway. But this show is, like, one of the weirdest, craziest... Like, when you watch it, it's going to really make you think that if us as black folk were to separate from the world and get our own thing going, like our build, you know, build our own community, you know, get our own thing going, that this may be things that will take place. This is why I think they put this show together. Because, like I say, all these shows have nothing to do with money. It's all about influence on people. They make the money. Hollywood is, is a part of shaping the way we see the world through movies so a lot of these movies you see really don't be something they wrote it's just be it be it be things that they want to implement into us like the terminator stuff like that so if you was to see this to come you've been seeing it all the while you just been seeing it on the big screen but anyway when you see ruthless uh, ruthless it's crazy man it's about a cult right and um and um uh black folks or whatever the case may be majority um the thing about it they have a guy that they call i think he called the highest and i guess they're trying to say he's like the highest but come to find out he he done been in prison not saying that him going to prison has anything to do with anything but he's not he's betrayed to be this uh the highest or uh, you know the 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 uh he's over everybody and everybody got to go to him and they, they pray to this thing called a uh the, the raku or whatever the case may be they be raping um women they drug them they uh they sell children sex trafficking they do all these things and i just think like when you watch it it's gonna take you for a loop and i just think these are the things that they put out there so so just say us as as black folks or whatever we see what's going on in in, in the society we live in we being targeted in every direction so what if we would say well look we're gonna pull away from this this ain't this ain't what we're about we don't need y'all government. We don't need y'all. We don't every time black folk have a problem, we got to call y'all, the police. We got to call y'all to report to y'all what's going on and let y'all solve our problem. We ain't, we ain't doing none of that. So I feel as though this show was brought out in the way it is brought out is to show that if we were to separate ourselves, that this, this you know, stuff might be going on in, inside the cult. And this is how they discourage people. You get what I'm saying? But let, let me tell you this, though. And it's sad that Tyler Perry's name is attached to it. You get what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I just feel as though, like, not saying nothing, you know, on him or his end. But he could be locked up in a contract where they can use his name to bring people to watch these shows. And probably giving this show to another writer that has nothing to do with Tyler Perry. It's just this, this is the type of stuff they do, man, with this paperwork. Same as with the, with the music business. But anyway... If you seen it, man, drop comments on the bottom of this on this video, man. If you saw it, it's called Ruthless. It's crazy. But like I say, they be raping people. They do all kind of all kind of fornication. They they, they drug people. They they I mean, it's crazy. And this guy who, who's supposed to be the highest, all he do is sleep with the boys. You know what I'm saying? Young, old, it don't matter. He don't even like women. Um and then the, the, his right hand man, pretty much he, he they sleeping together. It's just so chaotic in the way that they put it together. Like, I don't know who, in, this is not entertainment. This is something that they want to either get you to see that will happen or could happen. Or the picture that they're painting is, is like, it's weird. And I just feel as though if we were to separate ourselves from society, that this is the things that could be taking place. If there's no authority or if there's no one to answer to, and it's always you got to go answer to the highest and what he thinks. And and they literally doing all this. They they they, they, they sex trafficking, they selling children, uh they 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 man, they doing it all. It's just crazy that um they do got Tyler Perry name attached to it, because it's just not a good look, if you ask me. Like I say, and it could be just something that he contractually has to fulfill. They could be just using the studio. They could have paid him to use his name. I just don't think this is something he would produce. But, like I say, if you saw it, drop a comment, man. Tell me how you feel about it. Like, Or if you haven't seen it and you go watch it, it's just crazy. There's nothing positive about it. 
the, the, the wife sleeping with, the friend, husband, and the cousin sleeping with, it's all over the place. But I'm just bringing this to y'all attention that when you look at women or when you look at men of power, authority, the, the images you have in your head come from shows like this. It's nothing that you've experienced. And they do that for a reason. This is my whole thing about this video. Not only just that, they do this with all the shows. The Housewives of Atlanta, when most of them ain't even married. You know what I'm saying? All that fighting and bickering over nothing and throwing water on each other. I say that to say this. This is how they project how women act, black women act. You get what I'm saying? This is how they project how black men act. This is the stuff they put in our heads. And us as humans, we we why you that we input and output. That's all we are. We input and output. We're energy. These are the things I try to tell y'all to study and understand about yourself. Understand your body, your mind, understand psychology, understand how things work. And then you'll start putting the pieces together because these people implement these things on us through radio, TV, uh, uh, news, or whatever the case may be. And the thing is, this is how we see that specific thing. Like, you've never probably held a bat in your hand, but based on what you saw, you got an idea of what a bat look like and what a bat do and woo the woo the woo. That's basically what I'm saying. The things you know about a lot of things you never experienced yourself, you just saw it on TV or you saw it here or they was talking about it. But they do that stuff for a reason, man. Because if that's the case, why won't they ever put nothing positive on TV? It's not the fact that we love negative stuff. It's just we've been fed negativity so much to this damn near look that as something entertaining. And in some cases, it's positive. And it's just come from overloading us with that type of energy. At the end of the day, all I'm saying is, man, open your mind. Look at stuff for not what it is all the time. You kind of got to just be like, hmm, what's the angle of them writing some sick, weird show like this? Y'all don't hear me. It's called Ruthless. And I'm telling you, they raping women on there, fornicating. They drugging people on there. They drugging the police on there. That's about the only thing I like. But they drugging the police on there, getting information out the police station. They the, the the guy who they look up to is called the highest, a guy that was in prison. He kind of had like a, a Jesus type um look to him. You know what I'm saying? The long hair. He's not white, definitely ain't black, but he kind of like, you know, they they just do things like this. You feel what I'm saying? And he's a not to speak on nobody on sexuality, but he's a homo. He sleep with men on the, he sleep with boys on the, little boy, 16 year old. Why would they put a show out with this guy, a grown ass man, sleeping with a child? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, man, it's like, it's just crazy. Um, but check it out. See it for yourself. If you saw it, man, put how you feel, literally how you feel. Even if you wasn't looking at it that way before you watched this video. And now you'd be like, hmm. Put how you feel about it. Let, let other people read your experience from that show. But I'm telling you, the overall view is they don't put stuff out there, out there like that for nothing. There's always an agenda. There's always a purpose. And the crazy part about it is they put Tyler Perry on there, which is our own people that kind of makes it, that's another psychology thing, kind of makes it not say okay but it's just crazy how it says, it's like we are, our own people are doing this to us. When he probably had nothing to do with it. I really doubt that he did. That's how sick it is. But anyway, y'all check it out. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. And I just want to put a video out about that. Because that is crazy. It's called Ruthless. It is what it is. But to the next video, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, and share the video. That's all I ask, brother and sisters. Ah, uh -uh. all right. I'll get with y'all on the next video, baby.